that we need to follow for a non-static methods. Okay. So non-static methods which can be accessed through custom sorry through object of a class next non-static variables can be reference directly in non-static methods static variables can also be referenced directly in non-static methods okay and we can also use this keyword to reference any of the non-static members of class this keyword is a reference to the object which is used to invoke the non-static method or it's a reference to the calling object from the caller let's say if i'm writing this if i start creating an object let's say for example i have object obj equal to new sample class now if i use this inside any method it refers to this object it refers to this object this refers to this object for example let's say how the non static method look look like it doesn't have a non static static keyword non static method cannot contain a static keyword public void get names is my methods okay now i'll pass string string name i'm passing my last name and anything is matches i need to return the data now i'll say that string if last name equal to last name equal to equal to sfdc then i'll return like return salesforce.com else i'll say return no name found no name found clear now if i want to call this method because this is being a non static method i can able to invoke through constructor i can able to invoke through constructor simple class obj equal to new constructor the default constructor obj dot get names and i'll say sfdc and because this is returning something i'll assign to result okay and i'll print my system dot debug plus execute salesforce.com right let's say instead of i pass a name here instead of i pass a name here okay 
instead of I pass a name here, I will pass name at a global level. I will create a variable at a class level. Okay. If I create a variable at outside of a method, whether this will consider as a class, I mean, whether this will be treated as a class variable, right? If it is not in the scope, yep. So now I'll say public string last name equal to I'll say that no name. By default, I'll say that no name. So if I run this, if I run this, I can't do a parameter now, right? What will be the result I will get now? No name found, isn't it? Because it is not SFDC, so it will not be no name found. How can I treat that? I'll say that obj dot last name because this is a non-static variable, isn't it? SFDC. And I'll say that execute. Public string last name equal to no name. Why we are getting this error? Duplicate field. There is already field last name. Okay. Let's say I'll keep this as a last name. I'll say person name. I'll say this as a person name. Control V. Control v. Now if I execute, I'll get salesforce.com. Okay. Because we are assigning anyway object, right? This is how our caller method. So before calling method, I'm renaming to person name, right? Let's first suppose if I create another one public string get result is my method name okay public string and this is my result I'll say I'll do here the same thing I do here it just I'll how to call non static methods by using object by using object let's see what happens if i create a, an object and i call a method so it's a very easy thing that object got get results right get r e s u l t result and i'll return this r e t u r i can return directly the string because anyway it is giving string i need a string right get public string get results and why it is r-e-s-u-l-t okay What it is saying? Or return obj dot get results. I have here get results. Saved. Nothing changes. Some system network issue, I think. And now, what I will do if I call. If I call this, what will be the result now? I am calling get names. Get names eventually calling get results within the method. And we have a person name SFDC. I am passing my, I am assigning my object as SFDC. What will be the outcome? But uh, I am challenging you. But my output will be no name found. My output will be no name form. Understand on which object you are setting SFDC? The object which you are creating here, right? And you are calling this method by creating another object. 
as i mentioned in the uh, previous session as soon as you invoke another object you create another object all your values is set to default to their values right the default value is no name right if i want to if i want to preserve this then what should i do instead of calling with a new object i should call using this dot now this keyword is referencing to this object you understood that particular object which this method has been called always this refers to the object the method which has been called okay the uh, let's say if i write at this e here it will refer to the that object which is called this method okay it's not always a first object it always the object which used to call it that particular method execute now you can see salesforce.com right so for example if i say this way i have an object like this and i have another method like this and i have another method like this okay if i call this method from here to here and this is calling this method this is method 1 this is method 2 this is method 3 if i say this keyword here if i say this dot if i say this dot this did this refers to the method which is being called from here caller obj dot m1 so this refers to this method okay if i say this here this refers to this this object here you can say another new object it will refer to the new object if i say this itself then this keyword will refer to this keyword this keyword will ref look into the object where it has been created for a first time okay so which means whenever i create an object it creates one internal memory for that object which stores all the values this is obj for example this is my obj if i say another obj inside any other method or obj1 it will create another object obj1 now what happens if i use this method to execute it will take a values from obj1 if i use obj then it will take execution from obj1 so we need to ensure that on which object reference we are trying to execute our classes okay this is a very classical example that we saw if we create a new object what happened the expected output is salesforce because we are passing it as a sfdc but due to you are resetting all the values to a new object and old object stores is an obj so what happened it is not able to execute at that context it is executing at a new object context to avoid such conflicts what we are using we are using a keyword called this keyword and if these are a static variables earlier in the static methods if i want to access non static variables i need to create an object right but here i can able to directly refer like this string n equal to this is a static name first name is a static variable you can see right so i can able to refer non static method can able to refer either a static or non static methods directly you don't really need to create an objects until and unless it is really required to execute another context i mean to execute next method with a different context then you need to do it but ideally you really no need to do anything specially to call any of the variables inside a non static methods clear and it also goes with the same it have the parameters like your static methods which you can refer to from the static uh, session which is previous video